This is crazy. There's 4,000 marbles in here in this giant cup noodle. And I mean, we all love a good cup noodle, but I was surprised to find out recently that the whole concept of instant ramen was actually invented in Japan back in 1910 by a man named Momo Fuku Ando. And well, it's a fact that Japan is so proud of. They actually built two cup noodle museums in Japan and one in Hong Kong too. The idea of a museum might sound quite boring, especially to someone like me, but you can see just from this window that this is literally built different. This whole museum is less of a museum and more of a kind of exhibition of fun and creativity. And that's why I'm kind of excited right now. So let's go check it out. Let's go inside. So the real reason most people would come to this museum is for this place, the Cup Noodle Factory, where you can make your own cup noodle. Completely unique and, well, yeah, that's exactly why I'm here. So let's go make our own Japan-chan cup noodles. <laughs> So one thing that makes this my cup noodle, makes it unique, is that you get to design your own cup or basically just use all these pens to color it in. Of course, I'm going for a Japan theme. It is Japan-chan, but I'm starting to recognize my own artistic inadequacies whilst doing this, but it's still a lot of fun. Is brown a good idea? I don't know, I'm just trying to use all the colors. I'm such a kid. I mean, it kind of looked good until I realized I don't have the steady hand whatsoever. So I think I salvaged it just about. It's not my best work ever, but I've got my unique cup noodles with kind of a Mount Fuji artwork and lastly, Japan Chan. So now that this is all done and yeah, I'm quite happy with it. It was a lot of fun. Time to go choose the toppings, choose the soup and get this sealed up. Let's go. Right. So then from all of here, you can pick one out of four soups and four out of 12 toppings. So there's literally hundreds, actually more than a thousand different flavor combinations. And now they're going to seal it up. And there it is. I finally got my own sealed cup noodle. Japan, sta Japan Chan style. I can't even talk properly, I'm so excited. The final part of the experience is they give you this bag that you can put your cup noodles inside, inflate it and then wear it as a backpack. It's very childish, but I feel like a kid at Christmas right now. There we go, all done. So with the string attached, you can just put it around and wear it, carry it around all day proudly, like the kid you are. <laughs> so much fun, but that's actually not all that there is to this museum. There's loads more stuff to go and see. So let's go check out what they got. Whoa, this is a trip. <laughs> so the whole purpose of this room is it's kind of a trick room. You're supposed to guess which one of these cup noodles is actually the biggest. And well, as you can see now, it's kind of slanted, but I guess it's also a good photo opportunity. But which one do you think? Yeah, of course, the answer is the one on the right, but they all look exactly the same. This is really uncomfortable on my legs and <laughs> not big enough for someone like me, but that was kind of fun. This is a museum after all, so they do have uh, different exhibitions where you can learn the history of cup noodles. It's all written in Japanese and in English, but They've also got different art installations. Like for example, they've got this kind of strange cup noodle. 
I don't know what to call it. What is this? Not quite a statue, but it's interesting. So there's plenty of stuff to do here. It's good for kids too, <laughs> just like me. Whoa, Nandu. That was a bit creepy, I wasn't expecting that. This museum really has so much to do. I mean, just behind me is an instant ramen history cube that shows the history of the designs throughout the years. It's pretty interesting, actually. Definitely worth checking out. They've also got kitchens where you can learn how to cook ramen, a kind of exhibition for kids where they can experience being a noodle going through the factory. But they've also got this, which is kind of interesting. It's a space exhibition in collaboration with JAXA and, well, the inventor of cup noodles was born in Osaka and that's why they have a cup noodle museum in Osaka but he also invented space noodles and here we have a space exhibition but this astronaut from Japan was born in Yokohama so that's why they have a cup noodle museum in Yokohama yeah they got some pretty interesting stuff here oh and a statue of the man himself Momofuku. If there's ever a man that deserved a statue, I think he does. Thank you very much. So there's one more thing to go check out, and that's the Noodle World Road, where this man actually went on an adventure to try and discover the origins of noodles so he could perfect his own cup. But there you can eat lots of delicious stuff. So let's go, I'm getting hungry. So this is the Noodle Bazaar and it's actually themed like an Asian night market. You might think you'd be eating cup noodles in a cup noodle museum, but the theme is that there's eight different stands from around the world. So you can try different flavors that you've never had before. I've never had Indonesian food, so I've come for some Indonesian noodles. God, this is so good. And one thing that's really cool is that everything's only 500 yen. The portion sizes aren't massive, but that's intentional. The idea is that you can go to different stalls and try out various flavors from around the world, just like Momofuku did. And I recommend it, it's really delicious. Okay, this is definitely one of the more unique things I've ever seen. I've got to love Japan for this cup noodle flavored ice cream not just your regular cup noodle flavor there's also curry cup noodle and what's really weird about it is it actually looks like instant ramen and the ingredients like it looks like there's corn and bits of carrot and beef in there so strange but you know i gotta taste it i mean look at that that doesn't look like ice cream Oh my god, that is so weird. My brain just isn't connecting the, the chicken ramen flavor with ice cream. Oh my god. I can't imagine the curry one is any more forgiving. I don't know what to say. It's disgusting. I can't think of one time in my life I haven't finished a part of ice cream. And while getting used to the flavor, I don't think I can finish them, so... I think I'm done. Time to get out of here. 
Well, with all of that, sadly, that's the end of this adventure. It was really fun. Only 1,000 yen, 500 to enter, 500 to get my own unique cup noodle. Really worth every penny. So if you want to come yourself, I'll leave the dis information in the description below on, you know, official website, how you can get your ticket. If you want to do some of these, you should book in advance because it's usually booked out. This place is super popular, but yeah, I recommend you come and I recommend you don't get the ice cream. It's terrible. <laughs>